Okay, if I want this is a fake video just to show how to blur the tag. But this is our, our Tesla Model 3 sitting here. I just put that that just plain basic tag sign on the back of it. But the car stationary, and if I'm walking around, obviously the, the tag is moving around in the field in the frame of the view. So that could be a pain, no doubt about it. But if you got your tag covered like this, it doesn't matter. Nobody can see it anyway. If for some reason you don't want people to see it, I'm going to show you how to do this in iMovie. Okay, if you have an iPhone, iMac, or iPad, you should have iMovie on it. I'm on my iMac here. I'm going to go to my launch pad, and there's iMovie there, that little star icon. Just click on that. This is another project I'd work on. So uh, I'm just going to go back to the beginning here. Okay, when you open up your iMovie, you'll get this. Click on the plus sign. You want to make a movie? Click on that. And you've got a uh, timeline down here. You need to drag your photos and so forth in. Now, the thing about iMovie is if you want to export your movie in a uh, 4K format, you need to uh, be your first video be 4K. I've got a, a garden variety intro here. I always put in all the beginning of my videos as 4K just to help assure that. And for this demonstration, we won't need all this, so I'll just Put the timeline there, or the cursor, right click, split the clip, and right click and delete all, all that. I don't need that. I like to begin my videos with a uh, doorway transition. I'm going to go ahead and put a doorway in here, up here under transitions. Um, here's the doorway over here. Just highlight it and drag it down. There it is. Now, the video clip I made out there, the trial video, is over here. Okay, I'm going to just drag that into the timeline. Okay, and now I'm, uh, I'll am i show you what we need to do next. Okay, now we got our uh, trial video in here. You can change the resolution if you click on it. Come over here and spread that out if we want to get a little better detail. Um, we'll, we'll do that a little bit here. And then uh, what you want to do is, let's see, let me see if I can see my scroll bar here. Okay, I put that in there. We're not going to mess with that. We're just going to work with this. Okay, now what you need to have, and you should have done this already actually, is have a picture, decide what size you want to make. And I made a text box with some forward slashes and backslashes and uh, a texture into the uh, background. I just use that. It could be anything that you want. You drag that in top of your timeline here. Come up here, see those little squares? Click on them. Where there's cutaway, click on the arrow, go down to picture and picture. And if you come down here and click on that, you can see it's over here. We want to get rid of this dissolve feature though because don't really need that. That that starts out clear and then it gets opaque. We don't want that. We want it opaque to begin with. You can change the size of it by doing this on the corners. Uh, we'll shrink it down. Um, you can make it as small as you want or as big as you want. Um, but uh, we'll put this cursor here at the beginning. Put it basically on top of the tag, then we'll kind of move it along. If it starts exposing the tag, we'll stop, put this back on top of that. We're going to do a copy here, edit copy up at the top, edit copy. Put this cursor over here, do an edit paste. And uh, highlight it, and then put that cursor at the beginning of that little pasted in section kind of position this where we want it okay and you can test it move this cursor around we can spread that out the bigger that image is on obviously in this case the back of the car could be a sign or something you're covering is uh makes it this easier so you just repeat this over and over again 
until you've gotten through your your entire uh, video. We'll do an edit paste with we'll another time or two. And I'm not going to go through the whole thing with you because it would be boring. But this is how you do it. Move that up over that. And uh, we're still covering it. Lost it a little bit there. Let's, let's stop. Let's try to paste in another piece. Paste. And we'll position that. Okay. Um, and uh, there's a lot of other things you can do if I movie. I'm not going to go into all that right now, but let's put that up over there. And then we'll let's stretch this out a little bit, see how far we can get about pasting in anything else. That's still out there. Okay. Um, we can just move that back to there. We can, um, uh, this is good enough. We'll just save this. Let me see if I'm doing this in QuickTime screen recording. I've been having problems. Let me see if I can save this. Now, if you're not familiar with iMovie, there are a lot of other features I'm not going to go into in this video. I've used it for all my YouTube videos from my iPhone 6 Plus, uh, iPad Pro, and now my iMac. I, I prefer the iMac for most of them now. It's just a lot easier to work with. But once you're done with it and everything you're going to do with it, you just come up here in this little box, the arrow, click on that, and do export file. And by, because I had a 4K video at the very beginning, my intro video, I can export it as 4K. You can have other options there, too. I'd like to export everything as 4K. I'm going to call this blur tag. I'll probably have to replace another one I did with it. Okay. Put it in uh, my... I, I do everything off the desktop. There's other ways of doing this, but that's just the way I like to work. I'm going to replace that file that's already there, and you'll see the video export progress up here in this little round circle. And... Uh, once it's there, uh, exported, takes about a minute. If you got a real long video, like 20 or 30 minutes or more, it'll take a while. A um, little one like this shouldn't take that long. So we're just going to wait on it here. That's it, trying to find itself there. Should be anyway. Well, where'd it go? So share successful. Where's my blur tag? I guess that's it there. Okay, I'm gonna stop this. I might add a few other comments in a little bit. Okay, I went ahead and uh, finished up blurring in most of that trial video, the Model 3, and the back side of it with where the tag is. And uh, just gonna show you that. And uh, this, uh, this is how you do it. Uh, it's just tedious. It's simple, but tedious if you've got iMovie available. And uh, especially on iMac uh, or some kind of Mac, that's probably the easiest way to do it rather than an iPhone or an iPad. Uh, so this is this is covering the tag. Now, you, you learn doing this when you're taking a picture like this or a video, you need to stand still. And preferably if your target is still, that helps too. Hope you enjoyed this and learned something from it. If you did, please like the video and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it.